Oh, yes, it's me. Um, oh, uh, it's got a D in it. Um, Larry Da Vinci. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> and what's this? Do my eyes deceive me? <laughs> Hello, sack thing. I remember the days of the Alliance with such fondness. Apart from that negativity, what's it? Ugh, the very thought of it curls my toes. Ever since we defeated it, I've been at a bit of a loose end, so decided to ply my trade as a puppet professor, you know. Give the youngsters the benefit of my knowledge and all that. I've got something marvellous to show you. It's the most powerful tool in your creative arsenal. <laughs> Come with me. Behold, the vitally important, um, oh, oh, what's it called? Uh, the Puppet Power-Up. That's it. The Puppet Power-Up enables you to use Create Tools within Play Mode. It also furnishes you with a fabulous hat. Oh, imagine that. Let's give the magnificent thing a whirl, shall we? The Puppet Power-Up adds fantastic new options to your Puppet menu. Open the Puppet by pressing the Menu button. Select your Puppet cursor with the Action button. You move the cursor around using the left stick. If you're in a menu but want to get back out, just use the Back button. Move your cursor over the orange area and onwards we'll go. Gently does it. Ooh, unusually graceful and precise movements for a novi. A lot of sack folk end up knocking something over. Or someone. You show promise. Oh, deary, deary me. The bridge couldn't hold the weight of us both. Oh, how embarrassing. Luckily, the Puppet Power-Up can make mistakes disappear as if they'd never happened. It's true. Press the left button to rewind. Rewinding makes everything freeze in place. This is called pause mode. You can unpause by pressing the up button. Excellent! All evidence nicely removed, and no one any the wiser. Place your cursor open now. You can then move the object around using the left stick. And if you should want to drop the object and back out of the puppet, you do so with the back button. If you've used your puppet cursor to select an object, you can use the right stick to spin it and change its size. Try it out on this block. Yeah. You are a natural. I <laughs> like your style. If an object isn't working out for you, it can be easily recycled back into the Imagisphere. Select it and press the delete button to get rid. Just don't use it on the furniture, especially if you're sitting on it at the time. Oh, the bruises. Nicely, nicely, lovely, lovely. <laughs> Once you've selected something with the cursor, you can nudge it in and out. If you want to push an object forward, use the front shuffle button. Similarly, you use the back shuffle button to move an object backwards. 